all right guys hi good happy sunday it's sunday here in the uk so in today's video what i'll be doing i'll be assembling a notebook that i made out of resin but this is a an a5 notebook and it is um one minute i bought it the other day and it is a we are memory keeper so it is made all the holes etc are specifically cut out for the cinch so what i'll be doing i've made it yesterday i tried to film it but i'll try to insert some clips of me doing uh, mixing up the resin etc but it was a total disaster but before i get into this video or uh, i just want to say to you here you are special for god and that is it i don't know if you guys can see it is so reflective but i'll be assembling this so i said let me just show you guys i mean if you want to see sorry i was just eating something so these are the pages that i'll be putting in it these pages i specifically designed them myself and it also has um the qr code on it for the website etc where they can be purchased and i quite like it it's really thick paper so what i'll be doing now let me just move that one side because it's not properly cured so let me move that one side so what i'll be doing now i'll just be removing the <coughs> this is self-adhesive vinyl and i'll be putting it on the front of this i'm not sure though if i should put it i think i'll put it on here because if it goes on there it may get lost because it's blue on blue so let me now go ahead and remove that hopefully the cut settings is deep enough yes it is because i'm using um arteza self-adhesive vinyl and sometimes it can be a bit funny with regards to cutting but so far so good so far i'm not having a problem with it um so let me just do this if you if you guys hear noise in the background um it is my daughter and my husband they're upstairs messing about and i'm downstairs here so I said, you know what, let me just quickly do a video of me putting this book together. I mean, I've done books in the past with the cinch, but it's the regular books. It hasn't been um, like one where I use <clears throat> in order to cinch it with the binders. I've done books like these, which is just regular notebooks, but let us see hopefully it will work so as you know with vinyl you have to weed it out and because this is self-adhesive vinyl there's no need for me to do anything in the reverse unless probably i was putting it on something where i had to reverse so so far the cut settings that i've placed in the machine are working pretty well and it is weeding pretty well as well i mean i've had difficulty in the past where i was trying to do the cut settings for this vinyl and it just wouldn't cut and then i had to um sorry about that i just had to mess about and um find one and i didn't remember which one but i said you know what let me just try and um just put something in so i put i think i put it at blade five but i use the manual blade instead of the auto blade and i think i put it at speed 10 and then one pass so so far so good guys it is weeding quite well i do like this blue it's very reflective and that's it 
I didn't want it to do the letters too small because then it would be too time consuming but I still wanted to have like a sort of fancy font so I just used one that came came with the um I think it's Apple Chancery I think is one of the fonts that's pre-installed so what I do now I take off the transfer tape and I mean some people have like a method to be quite honest I just um, line it up as best as I possibly can and just ensure that it is straight no bubbles and I forgot my my spatula one moment <laughs> Yep, so because self-adhesive is quite different than heat transfer, you have to burnish it. Where did I get this transfer tape? I think I got it from Amazon. I'm not even sure where. So you burnish it as best as you possibly can on the front. And then you do the same for this. My husband made this board for me yesterday because I was doing a bit of resin work yesterday. I was just experimenting with something that I saw, a video that I saw on YouTube, where we use um, mica powder and paint the mica powder in the mold and then um, pour the resin in. So this is what I did yesterday and this is how I got this effect. So this is the mica powder and then this is mica powder at the top as well that are mixed in with the resin so i've burnished it as best as i could so let me now peel it back and if it has been burnished well it would then come off on the plastic or i should say the transfer tape So there we go it it came off pretty well there we go you are special for God and that's it. so my next thing now let me just put this back while I try and determine how I want it if I want the gold on the outside with blue in the and then the gold and then blue yeah I think I like it like that there let the two blue be on the inside cover and that's it so what i'm gonna do now guys is let me peel that back hopefully none of the letters come off if i just take my time and do it so now the next thing for me to do is to go ahead and um i'm trying to see which pick which one yeah quite like i mean they're both the same anyway yeah so i'm now gonna do this one here so let me try and center it i'm not good at measurement <laughs> measurement is not my strongest point hold on let me turn it to me because the camera is turned faced another way so let me try my best because with my husband you'll be like oh it needs to be centered from the top and the bottom is like very symmetrical like that so you know what it doesn't matter at the end of the day i'm the one who's gonna be using it but you still want it to be Hopefully, none of the letters come off. Come on, don't you? Oh no, it's gonna be coming off. Oh no, 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 no. Let me try my best to sort of. I think that's my husband now. <laughs> yes, it is. So he's gonna come and help me to line it up symmetrically. Say what? What do you mean, say what? <laughs> um, hold on. Please. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. 
Oh, so I need, need it. it to be lined up. That looks like it, didn't it? So what do you need my help for? To line it up. Oh, God, it's difficult for me to see. I'm not over it. All right. Okay. If you fold, if you line the text up. Oh yeah, just like heat press in it. Just like when you're doing heat transfer. And put a crease in it. That will give you the centre. So the centre is on that line. Yeah. There, yeah. So now you need to find the centre of your book. Where's the centre of your book? Oh, would I know that? Do you not measure it? No, it's A5. Ah, what, C? Come on. What do you mean it's A5? Yeah. That tells us nothing. Where's the tape measure? <laughs> oh, we're so, I'm so unorganised. Oh, it's usual. here. Look, look, look. you got it here. See, I'm more organized than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so A5 is 154, yeah? That's, he's doing it in centimeters. No, millimeters. Millimeters. 154 mil, yeah? Yeah. We're metric, yeah? 154. So half of 154 is 77. 77. Uh, yeah? So that's... So where's your pencil? Have you got a pencil or something to mark it with? I'm telling you... Asymmetrical, isn't he? 77. So that would be there. <laughs> I know. I was asking him for help. No, I'm telling him that would be there. So you want to do a faint line there. Yep. And then you want to do a faint line down there. Mark is 77. You got a straight edge? Seriously? No. no. Oh, there we go. We'll use one of your products. See? If it's straight. <laughs> uh, if it's it is straight, straight. But it's not quite long enough. It's used two. Hold on. We can cheat. See, you get more products in your shop, I bet. Huh? Do I get commission? No. What do you mean no? I should. Alright, so if you do a faint, very faint line. Wow, that is very faint. <laughs> Not even I can see it. Alright, let's try that one again. Line, line. I tell you what, we won't put a line. Just hold that there with your finger. <gasps> Where's it gone? Where did it go? Did you eat it? No, it fell. Oh, sorry, it's all right, it's all right. Don't cry. It's there. So let's find our middle again. Mm-hmm. And then where, whereabouts do you want it, left or right? What do you mean, left or right? Uh, sorry, up or down, not left or right. Middle. Do you, do you want it middle, middle? Yeah. All of it middle, middle. Yeah, like there. There's fine. Hold on. Ah, what are you doing? Ah, you moved it. Right, hold that again. You had one job. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> one job. All right, hold that. Don't let go, right? Yeah. We need to get half of this on there before you let go. Uh, out there, I'd say. Yeah. All right, hold on. Don't let go. Right, now pull that out. Hold on. There we go. Voila, folks. And there we have it. We are on the roll again. Starts with T, finishes with a U. What? What's that? Starts with T and finishes with a U. Two words. T U. I don't know. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh dear. I'm forgetting my manners, folks. Yes, manners are everything. So let us see if this. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me turn it around so you guys can see. So there we have it. Oh yes, folks. What?
There we go, gentle people. Let me put back this. Waste not, want not. This can be used a second time. At least. Let me try my best to line this back up as perfectly as I possibly can. It hasn't been done, but. So there we go, folks. That's it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to gather everything together. And then when I'm doing the cinching, I will come back. So see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Okay, guys. So I'm now back and I'm ready to use the, the cinch, which if I've done my mat, which should line up with this. So these are the whole these that's blah, blah, blah. this is the paper that I'll be cutting, not cutting, putting holes in. So what it is, I'm not sure if I've done a video on this before, but because my paper is A5, I have to put this little tab in the B. So if your paper size is like hold numbers or half an inch, you would put it in the A slot. And if it is like three eighths or seven eighths inch, in terms of measurement, you would put it in the C. But because my paper is A4, A5, sorry, it is gonna go in the B slot. So what you do, the first thing you do is you line your paper up. Make sure it goes all the way to here. There's a little stop here. So you have to ensure that your paper goes all the way in. And then what you do after that, you just press it down. And then that's the first set of holes. Then you take this thing out, this little tab out, ensure you put it in the slot that comes with it because you don't want to lose it then to get the other holes what you do this hole the second hole from the top you would say there is a little tab i'm not sure if you guys can see there's a little tab here you would put that second hole and then you would use this to keep it in place so it doesn't shift so let me turn it one side so it's lined up there then you put it down and then you press it down then you do the same thing it didn't do oh no it didn't do let me do it again come to the second hole And hopefully it should punch it now yeah I didn't push it down um, far enough so that's that so far so in order to get the rest at the top here you would do the same thing line it up in the second to last um, slot ensure it's lined up properly press it down and then if you notice, once you have done that, it will be in the center because where these little black marks is, sorry, where these little black marks are, this is where the, <clears throat> that square, is it square? You wouldn't call it a, is it a square hole? I'm not even sure, but this is where it will punch out. So because it's, if you notice, the paper is not um, covering our directly underneath this so you don't have anything to worry about so because it is now secure if I were to press it down and back up there we have it folks perfect so if I've done it correctly if I came over let me move this one side and I hold it up there we go absolutely perfect so i'm just gonna speed up the video whilst i'm punching the rest so you guys don't have to watch me painstakingly go through and punch the next 49 pages
okay sorry about that guys for some reason um it wasn't punching the hole properly and i had to go ahead and clear this so let me now continue okay guys so i'm now back as you can see i have a different cinch machine in front of me which is the bigger the bigger cinch machine by we are memory keeper because this one is the small one and it's for small projects etc um sorry about that because of the size here for the cinching but what when i've measured my book it wouldn't i wouldn't be able to cinch it using this one because it's too small and how i know that let me just move this out of the way i have this little measuring book binding measuring um what you call it now tool from a company called craftelier i think that's how it's pronounced and what it does is that these little rings show you the size of the binders depending on the size book so now in order to get this to know what size binder you need you would put i don't want to lose this you would put your book together like how i'm doing it now then you would go ahead and then you would try to fit it in these little slots so when i've done it the slot that came up here is that one one inch so i know i need to get the bigger the bigger machine so i've gone ahead and i've taken out the bigger machine to do this and i also have um some bigger wires which is the binding wires so what i'm gonna do my battery is about to die so let me to speed up time and save battery let me just set it up and then when i'm getting ready to um cinch i'll come back see you in a minute so guys i'm now back i've started to put the put book the pages in the and and putting them in order of how i want them to be i sometimes do get this wrong so hopefully it will not be an epic fail while i'm doing this video but this is how you would line it up i think i've done a video on using this machine so i'll try and put a link somewhere either in the description box or at the top so you guys can have a look at that so this is what i'm doing now so basically wherever where you want to have your page um your book pages your inserts etc etc sorry you just put them in the order so now i've done that so what you then do you take it off and then i think i should roll it i think so and then on the back here it has like little numbers so it just depends on the size um binding wire so because i'm using one inch i just move it over to the one inch mark and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cinch it if it's lined up properly then I will have a really nice book binding. My space is a bit limited, so bear with me. So I think I rotate it a little bit more. I don't want to do it too hard. And then I just do it again to get it uh, you know don't rush it let me get my cotton wire <laughs> and then let me just cut off the excess piece which is run about there I'm not sure if you guys can see So 
let me move this out of the way and if i've done it correctly it should oh no i've done it back to front you know guys yeah so this should be at the back so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to um take it out and <laughs> start again i keep getting this part wrong where i um because this ugly part is supposed to be at the back of the book so i think what i've done is that i've done it wrong in the order of how it should be laid out so let me do it and then i'll be back see you in a minute okay guys so i'm now back i've gone ahead and i've unwound everything and i've done it in the correct way at least i say so so what i need to do you need to put all the pages etc at the back of the at the back of the book and then you put your front your back your front page i'm facing up and your back sheet or your what the back cover sorry facing this way inside out and then you run your seam so if i have done it correctly i should get this um the wires towards the back instead of how i have had it originally so let us cinch away And there we go. Perfect! Woohoo! I'm excited! <laughs> I'm excited! I hope next time I'm doing another book, I'll have to watch this video to see how I've done it. So that is how it looks, guys. You are special for God. And that's it. You are born for such a time like this. Esther, sorry, that's my daughter in the kitchen. Esther chapter 4 verse 14 and oops I'm trying my best because I'm watching my battery it says 10 minutes and there we go and that's it and then at the back it has that ugly thing so what I will probably do is to get it a bit more snug I'll take it down a little bit and then cinch it some more to get it really nice and tight so I'll adjust it probably adjust it just a little bit more don't want to adjust it too much now and then I'm unable to turn the book properly but you still want it to be snug you don't want the um the wires to be coming out easily and that's it everyone whoops that's it that's it absolutely beautiful and that's my qr code and there you go absolutely lovely lovely a5 book with using the we are memory keeper um silicon um silicon mold for the for a5 i'll put everything in the description box so thank you very much and as always may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may the lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and may the countenance of the lord forever rest upon you and give you peace and i say shalom 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 and remember you are special for god thank you tata -ta, everyone tata -ta, bye
know.